should you be a foster parent? My guess is if you are watching this video already, you have a heart of compassion and a desire to help kids that are in care. This video is meant to do three things. Number one is to share statistics about children who are in foster care. Number two, I am going to give you five characteristics of what it means to be a good foster parent. And number three, I'm going to close with my personal thoughts on foster parenting. So maybe you have become interested in foster care because you had a neighbor who entered foster care or you're a teacher and there was a student who was a foster child. Maybe you've watched a documentary or a movie like Instant Family that highlights and focused on foster care and the needs of kids that are in care. All those reasons are great reasons to look into foster care. In 2006, it started for us with a friend of a friend's daughter, a little girl named Hope. She was two years old. She needed a foster placement. So we became licensed. So should you become a foster parent? According to the Children's Defense of Children's Rights, Dot org. 440,000 children are presently in foster care here in America. 26% of those children come into care by the time they're one years old. Every 47 seconds, a child is abused or neglected here in America. And every single day, 1,844 children are abused. And those are just the cases that are actually reported. So we know that the number is actually a lot higher than that. So I dare you right now, stop your video for 47 seconds and imagine during that time, a child has been abused or neglected. So more statistics, an average child that's in foster care remains in foster care for two years. 10% of kids that are in care are in either institutions or they are in group home type of settings. 71,000 children have already had their parental rights terminated, which means they are legal orphans here in America, and they are just waiting for an adoptive home. In 2018, 17,000 children aged out of foster care, which means that they turned 18, they didn't get adopted, and they, all of their services were stopped. As studies show, a big majority of children who age out of the foster care system, they end up homeless, they end up addicted to drugs, and they end up in jail or in prison. Camelot Care Center gives us a list of five characteristics whether you would be a good foster parent. So number one, let's get to this. The number one thing is empathy. It's having a kind heart, someone who's understanding, someone who listens well. Number two is stability. It doesn't mean your life has to be perfect, but is your general relationships and your health and your finances stable? Are you living a consistent life that will make room for a child to come into your home? Number three is communication. There are so many people to communicate with as a foster parent. There's the legal system, there's social services, there is the birth family, and most of all, there is the foster child. A child needs someone to have a voice and to listen and to speak with them. And as a foster parent, it is crucial, even if you are not a big communicator, that you are willing to grow in communication skills. Number four is a loving environment. Kids can get their medical needs met, they can get their, their mental health needs met, they can go to physical therapy, but one thing these children need most of all is a loving home. Someone to show up at their sporting events, someone to have a teacher conference with them, someone to sit down and just have a meal with them. They need love and consistency, and with that, they grow and they blossom and they become all that they can be. Number five is flexibility, and if I'm honest, I am not a real flexible person. At the beginning of our foster care journey, I was pretty rigid. I wanted to be a foster parent to where it was like driving down a paved smooth road. I was in charge, I was driving, but the reality is foster care is a lot like riding the Matterhorn at Disneyland. But at the end of the day, being a foster parent is so rewarding. So what of those five characteristics are your strengths? Empathy, stability, communication, loving environment, or flexibility. And again, we may not have all of those. I didn't have all of those. We grow, we all grow, I'm growing. And, and growing stronger in those characteristics to become an effective foster parent. My last thoughts on this is the goal of foster parent is to support the birth family. 
You are part of a team. Sometimes you agree with the cases of the children and sometimes you don't, but more than anything, these children need a voice. They need someone to advocate for them. They need you as a foster parent to do what they cannot do. Foster care is the most difficult, but the most rewarding thing you will ever do. I can guarantee it. It is front lines work. Sometimes children come in the middle of the night. They come with nothing. A lot of our kids have only come with the clothes that are on their back. But when you see a child who lived in the Bronx and you take them for their very first hike and they look around in amazement and wonder as if you just opened up the world to them, it is the most beautiful thing. Or when you have a child that has been in trauma for hours and hours and they walk in your door, they drop on your lap, wrap their arms around your neck, and then they fall asleep. God does incredible redemptive work through foster care. Watching a child's life become restored and renewed, a child that couldn't walk learn to walk, it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Children sit in foster care in my state. They sit in offices every single day waiting for a foster parent that is willing to say yes. Kids stay in hotels, kids as young as four and five. Sometimes they're in group homes because nobody will take them. There are not enough foster homes. So should you become a foster parent? Imagine a building is in flames and there on the second story are children behind windows. They are trapped. They're crying out, but you can't hear them. And I wonder who will go to them? What would you do? Would you wait for someone else to take action? Would you wait and hope and hope someone fixes the problem? Or would you race into that building and do anything that you could to help to save those children? That is foster care. Every day, 144,000 children are in foster care. What will you do and how will you respond? So should you become a foster parent? If you like this video, like it below, subscribe, and please share with your friends. There will be many more videos just like this. And remember, life is short. Be bold and live brave.